Master George Borgard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Gospel, the Gospel, the Gospel. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Sometimes you go to church and you think, I've heard this before. And it's not that you've heard the sermon before, you know, now that we've invaded Iraq. Uh, you're like, that's an old sermon. No, I'm talking about the same message. The same message every single solitary week. The forgiveness of sins achieved by Jesus on the cross and delivered to you in water, word, bread, and wine. The mercy of God for sinners who don't deserve it. The, the comfort of troubled consciences. The, the rescue of people who aren't getting any better won't get any better and will probably die worse than they were before. And you can think to yourself, you know, I've heard this before. Maybe this would be better if there was something applicable to my life. Now, this is the point of danger. All right, this is the danger point. You see, for us who have been entrusted with the gospel, who hear the gospel every week, there's a point in which we can think and look at ourselves and say, what more? And the answer to that is, nothing more. The, the idea, the, the gospel is not preached in order to get to more. The gospel is preached because nothing else saves other than Jesus Christ and him crucified. Let's make sure we get that. Nothing else saves other than Jesus Christ and him crucified. Everything else falls short. Jesus doesn't preach the gospel in order to change your life. Jesus doesn't preach the gospel in order for you to be a better person. He preaches the gospel in order to save you from your sins. That's what you need saving from. And although you hear this message every week, and although you, it's, 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 it's always in front of you and always in your ears, hopefully... Sometimes you could despise it in your every day, every week, hearing of it. Now, there will come a time when you will take a hard look at your sins and you will, and you will see the, the awfulness that is you, the loving yourself more than anybody else, the selfish way that you carry yourself, the way that you put yourself first and others last, the murderous slanderous and lustful thoughts that you have and how you act on them. And you will think to yourself, doomed. At that point, the message of the gospel which has been put into your ears every week, you'll finally get it. You'll finally, you'll receive it. For the gospel is for sinners like you. The gospel is the only comfort that will hold and last to all eternity. You could change you and not be saved. You could fix the sins that bother you and still go to hell. In Christ, though, you can't go to hell because Jesus isn't in hell. In Christ, you have life and not just life, but eternal life. What I'm saying is, believe the gospel. Desire it every week. Push your pastor to preach it every week. Because it alone saves. And at the point in which you think that it's not enough, or that you've heard it enough, reach into your chest and see whether or not your heart's still beating. Because you need that gospel. You need that gospel to be saved. Because there's nothing which is going to fix your universe and save you other than the simple proclamation of Christ and Him crucified. If you don't know that yet, just wait. You'll see. He alone saves. Believe it for Jesus' sake. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.